Not like that, we can cut that part off. Good morning. Should I say any need for good morning? Hello, if you are watching this video, I'm sure you must have bought the A9 mini camera from us. So today I want to do a brief video on how to set up the A9 mini camera. How to pair it with your phone so that you can monitor what's happening wherever you've kept or installed your A9 mini camera. First things you want to do is this. The A9 mini camera requires an app for it to function with your phone. Whether you make it of an Android device or an iOS device, you need to download the app on your phone, install it, and have an account with that app. The name of the app is V380 Pro. So if you are yet to install your A9 camera, you want to go to your App Store or Google Play Store to search for the app. In my case, I'm at the App Store. I simply type V380 Pro. Okay, it has come up and I search. Because I've already downloaded it, I can simply just open it here. But in your case, you will need to download it first and install it before you can open. So that's pretty much easy to do. The next thing you want to do is this. You have to create an account. They will require you to... Uh, let me see if I can sign off mine. Okay, I can't sign off. They would require you to use your email address, any good email address you have, to sign up. Put in a password you can remember. It's just more like opening a Facebook account or a Gmail account. Use your email address. Use a password that you can remember. And once you've done that, you'll be brought to this particular place, this particular interface. So I'm assuming you've gotten your V380 installed. The next thing is this, how do we pair the Wi-Fi camera to the phone? Show this. So we've installed the V380 app on our device. Turn it the other way. The next thing is this. This is the camera. You can see this. You can take this off. It has a magnetic button, so you can attach it to any magnetic surface. So, first thing you want to do is this. Okay. It has um, two buttons, the on and off button and the mode button. This is to put it on and to put it off. If you want to put it on, you hold it down for about 15 seconds before it comes on. The mode button is for reset. You want to reset everything you've done with the camera. You hold down the mode button and it resets and you start everything from scratch. It also has a micro SD card slot. This is where you impute the memory card we gave you for recording purposes. Then it has the charger spot where you charge the device and where you need to connect it continuously to electricity for it to work. So what I want to do now is put it on. We hold it down. You see a kind of blue light and it changes to red which blinks for a couple of seconds before it becomes stable. It gives it time, maybe about 40 to 45 seconds. If you notice, the red light is blinking, like I said. Now the camera is on, it has become stable, so we can proceed with our installation next after you've put on your camera 
you want to go to this your settings in your phone the Wi-Fi settings on your phone go to Wi-Fi this is a Wi-Fi camera so the name of the camera would appear on your Wi-Fi networks this camera their Wi-Fi code starts from MV43 so you should be looking for a Wi-Fi network that begins with MV43 you can see it here mine is MV43513431 so I want to click on it I'm trying to connect it to my phone you can see it has ticked good it says on secured network once that is done, you want to leave your settings and you want to go to the app. We are back to the app. I'm assuming you've installed it already. Once you are here, what you want to do is this. Click on this red, um, this plus button here. It tells you to add a new camera, scan QR code, display mode. But click on add cameras. Now we have three options Wi Fi smart camera, 4G smart camera, and kit. This is what you select. Look at it again. You select your Wi Fi smart camera. Select that option. You want to pair this with an external hotspot. I'm also assuming you have a Wi Fi in your house that you'll be attaching this camera to because your phone will not be in the house. So you want to have an external Wi-Fi that you'll be pairing with the camera in your absence. Select the hotspot option. Now you'll be required to select a Wi-Fi network you want to connect your device, your camera to. So use this drop-down to search for camera um, Wi-Fi networks in your area. I can't see any here, but I, was, I can select this use other Wi-Fi option to search for networks I have in my area. So I'll do this. I will go to the Wi-Fi net place. This network is in my house. So I'll select my available network. Now I've selected a Wi-Fi network. Don't bother about this. I want to impute the password of this um hotspots in my house so that it can pair properly with the device say so connect to ap spots okay this is it take some time to set up so you have to be patient now it's requesting I put the password of this account I hope I remember the password um, okay give it time it's trying to connect your Wi-Fi network to the camera so it you can see here it says add success now it's asking you to select or enter the name you want to give this device you can choose to give the device the name of the place you want to install it but it has given you some options parlor home office bedroom doorway if you don't want to you can as well skip so let's say we want to install this in uh, our bedroom I can just select bedroom as the name I want to give this particular camera then I'll click finish look here it's trying to connect 
we are almost done it will take a while before it connects totally so just be here with me And once it's connected, you notice this place becomes blue as against red. It becomes blue. Earlier on, it was red. But once it has connected to a Wi-Fi network, it now becomes steady blue. And you can see here now, there's this is there's internet online notification here telling you this has been connected to the internet. What we need to do now is to play. Can you see this? This is the house. This is the camera. I guess you can see. I guess you can see the camera. You see how clear it is? I'm turning it around. You see how clear the camera is? So it has successfully paired with the phone. You see how clear it is. It's very easy to set up. So in a case where you bought two, you can add another camera by following the same method we did to install the first one. You just come here again. You click on add camera. Follow that same process we used to set up the first one and you are good to go there's another camera here but it's currently offline so anytime you come here as long as this wi-fi camera is connected to the internet in the house you can just come here and press play it connects and you see everything again i'm sure you can see this i'm trying to move the camera so that you can see the house and you see how clear it is. Say I'm away, I can decide to take a snapshot. Maybe I see someone in the house doing something and I want to get ev evidence. I can, there's this, look here, it says there's a snapshot here. I can use this button, I can click on it. It takes a picture immediately of that particular area of view. You can check it out later or show it to someone as evidence. You can record, but the recording is only enabled once you've um, put in the memory card inside of it. Now there's no memory card in this device. So even if we record, it would not be saved anywhere. So where you use the memory card option is a case whereby you don't have Wi-Fi connected to the mini camera. What the recording helps you do is this. In your absence, it records events that took place. When you come back, you can replay. You can see this, there's a replay button. So you go back and you replay. You replay any event that you've recorded. Because there is no memory card here, there will be nothing left for me to, to play or replay. But if you had installed a memory card, there will be evidence here. You can play it back. You can play back and see, okay, this was what happened in my absence. So that's basically how to install the A9 mini camera. One more thing is this, the A9 requires constant power supply. So you want to connect this close to a power source or consistently to the power bank we give you. That's the only way to continually have, um, it will continually be active because this now without light it stays for barely one hour and although you want this to record continuously that's why the power source is needed 24 7. so this works with a power source so get it close to a power source and you can install it anywhere in the house and it's clear the pictures are clear if not for the light you would have seen it the pictures are clear so that's it guys if you have any questions after watching this video, you can simply send me a message on WhatsApp and I'll be there to respond to your messages. Thank you.